What's shaking? Mr. Dave here on the Rock Pile. How are you doing out there? And uh, <coughs> YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and all the grams and instas out there in the various Facebookings, etc., etc. YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyway, all the platforms. Hey, yeah, man, uh, we're uh, still working on the slide. Want to show you guys an update on what we're doing so you can get a clue about how we make these things. Um, Great work being done behind me, uh, Gardner Pool Plastering. If you want to get your pool remodeled, give them a call. They do awesome work. And uh, so, yeah, uh, shout out to my, my buddies at Gardner Pool Plastering. So, let's walk you through our latest adventures for those of you who are tracking on this one. We got a little station mix, mixing station here for our concrete. We do a lot of pre mixing and, and, and uh, pre structural pours with this bagged concrete. Home Depot, on four, Home Depot, uh, 4,000 psi bags, uh, 60 pound bags, because this 94 pound bags, I finally realized we're not good for my back, and I don't need to be a hero anymore. I use those for years, this 94 pounders, and then I went, no, nah, that's too much. I do have the 94 pounders of the spec mix, which is that uh, mortar mix we use for a number of different things, but uh, we add that to that sometimes. We're trying to put it on the sides of things, and we're doing our own scratch coat. And we use that by itself to uh, change shapes on the projects, uh, to add more rock texture. And we put a little Portland cement mixed in with it uh, to make it more sticky. A lot of acrylic admix. We use the uh, the Sika down there. Uh, it's acrylic admix. I think they may have another product. But the idea is to get some acrylic in your mixes. So on this over here, we've got the boulder on the left side of the, of the uh, slide trough, the boulder on the right. This one, we put pegboard on it. And we've got those uh, two inch adobes, they're actually one inch adobes. And then on the inside we poured, we, we poured, we dug, uh, we took all the dirt that we dug out of these footings and put it inside that to uh, dispense with it, as they say. We're gonna have some more, uh, we're gonna use probably right in this section. We're trying to create the right path of travel on here, the right pitch, and there's no point in and putting in, uh, you know, a one and a half feet of concrete in there if we don't have to. And we need to get rid of this dirt anyway. So we we're going to be floating this out just to the edge of the pool, as you can see right here. And uh, these will be bent over to that or cut off, probably bent over, I guess, underneath this uh, rebar. I guess you can't see it because that's too funky with the light. There we go. It's a little better. So the ribs, I call these of the slider there. We're going to put a piece of plastic underneath it and a piece of foam in front of that edge of the coping. We don't want the slide to be expanding and contracting at a different uh, rate, which it will do, and then uh, causing issues with the bond, if we, the coping rather, if we tried to attach it. You've, I've done that before with a ton of steel, and then it's usually on shorter slides. On the longer ones, I like to put a slip sheet, I think they call it underneath there. We're gonna put pegboard on the outer side. We'll pre-pour that whole little section prior to the shotcrete com company coming on up here to blow the texture on everything else. This whole side of this rock's gonna get some chicken wire, another piece of rebar maybe or two to fill it in a little bit and uh, get it all dialed in. So this is the other side of it. Wanna keep that nice curve going on here. The slide's gonna be up higher, so this, uh, this will be a nice, fun slide coming on up. We did the perimeter first of the slide that we're doing. We got these rebar uprights going on in here. And then as an additional measure, footing measure, we dug down there and we had a jackhammer we're going into some of this decomposed granite in these little footings. So these are just, you know, two and a half feet by you know, one foot or 10 inches or so. Dig those down, pre-pour those, and then all these things, we'll simply bend them over and bend them down right in line with our slide trough that's coming up through here. We got a bit of Santa Ana's going on right now and there's no power at my house or the house here that we're working at. So my, my boy's bringing up a generator. So we poured these side walls that uh, you could, I mean, they're, they're footings, um, but they're for the upright. So we added concrete all the way up to the edge of the dirt line. That means that'll retain that slope and we don't have to worry about trying to fill that in with uh, uh, shotcrete. So we're gonna do our burlapping along this side probably and, uh, and make it so this will all be able to get shot created. The slide trough's gonna be maybe the walls are probably gonna be about this high. That's it. Down into the slide trough. The client wanted to keep the 
keep it really, really low into the ground, kind of hidden. So up here, we're gonna have our little ramp launch, if you will, and that's gonna be on the left side, a big boulder again that comes over all the way to that area there. So that'll be like one big boulder here. And then we'll do some bouldering around this whole pipe feed area, which is the beginning of our slide. Steps to get up to it will be on the other side over there. And uh, again, we just bend this stuff. These are temporary holds last night. They weren't even epoxied in or, or, or tied in or anything. And they just are enough to hold our uh, rebar that's down into the, the concrete down in here. If you can see that. So same thing we did with all this. We made this perimeter piece of rebar that goes all the way up and around, basically right above the... Uh, place that we're putting our rebar uprights in those footing areas that we did all the way around. Um, those, I don't know if you remember from the other video, had crisscross um, rebar. We pounded in the dirt and we laid this, this piece of rebar right on top of that little catch, uh, that little end of, you know, two across, I guess you call it a cross of rebar, tied the rebar together, laid that into that little notch and that we sort of put that right above where we needed the uh, footing to go and that stabilized this and then all you need is one tie wire to hold them while it's getting secured and going off and getting uh, firm so we've removed those crisscross things that held this one i'm going to be taking all this off and dropping it way down it's already got a nice curve in it going all the way up so we'll use that but i'm going to drop it down and all these big tall rear uprights will go bent over and they'll start creating the slide uh, ribs if you will and we also have some we've pre uh, bent as well so hope that's making sense to y'all out there in uh, in video land so going off taking all these off taking these half stick they're five footers gonna set those aside and we can use those to reshape and fill in areas on the on the fake rock boulders because that's gonna be a big boulder right there that comes up and the slide will be right up in there so there you go so anyways, Mr. Dave on the rock pile, hope you're having a good day. And uh, just wanted to sort of give you an update on what's going on. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe, maybe leave a comment. I think that's one of the things that's good for people's channels to, to make a comment or whatever and certainly share the video if you think someone else might enjoy it. So uh, yeah, we're out near the rock pile having fun in uh, Santa Ana's here in Southern California where if a fire starts, it's a bad thing. So pray for us out here in Southern Cal during these Santa Ana's. It's very scary. So anyways, if you want to learn how we do this, you can go to davehenderson.podia.com. davehenderson.podia.com. And there's free downloads you can get, which are cool PDF downloads and some videos, I think, that you can watch. A little mini course thing. And uh, I got my big course there that has five hours of video on it, uh, over five hours, in uh, 10 videos covering eight sessions. We've got over like 79 pages of PDFs you can download along with each, for each session you get, you know, up to 11 pages I think for each uh, instructional session. And that's a really cool, that's, that's like the deepest dive into how we make a water feature. Really tried to get everything I could think of into that thing. So. That one's there. Anyway, and I have blogs and links to other platforms, Facebook and Instagram, at www.daverhenderson.com. Daverhenderson.com. It's sort of weird putting these things out there. You gotta become, gotta get your brand going. Everybody has a brand, we all have a brand. So put our name out there on a www thing. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird, yeah. It feels kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, the nature of online marketing. So. Anyway, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, remember, especially in these last days, as it were, uh, to be thankful uh, for what you have and grateful. I, uh, I'm very thankful for a new kindy I got in um, June, and it's uh, almost December, December now. And uh, I am a kidney patient person. I was on dialysis for a number of months, 19 months, so maybe some of you have uh, tracked that with uh, my journey here. but. Anyway, thank you for that. Thank you for my wife and my two boys. Everybody's healthy. And uh, we're just feeling blessed. So be thankful and be forgiving, especially in these times as well. Um, we're all Americans. We all bleed red. we got to stick together somehow or a divided wheel fall. 
not good. So anyways, uh, forgive yourself too if you made mistakes. We are sometimes our harshest critic. So there you go, my little uh, speech at the end of a video. So hope you're having a great day. Remember to subscribe to YouTube, uh, my YouTube channel, if you haven't already. Send it around, leave a comment or a question. Try to help you out in any way I can. All right. So have a great day, no matter what. Let nothing steal your joy. Nothing. All right. All right. So God bless you guys. We will see you on the next next run around. I guess my shirt has a shadow. Oh well. Uh, see you later. Bye.